Cheating is a big problem, but how do we fix it? There are several ways cheaters can be reported and you would hope that a big AAA title like Battlefield 5 would come with some decent anti-cheat from launch. That hasn't been the case though, and other large games have been plagued with similar issues, Call of Duty Warzone, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, even Fall Guys. Cheaters are scummy individuals and will continue to break the rules and ruin the fun for everyone until they are banned. Activision made a step in the right direction in recent weeks, bringing legal action against a website known for distributing cheating software. This is one step, but more is clearly needed. An idea that has been thrown around recently is that EA should maybe look at having a review system similar to the Overwatch system CSGO uses. This clearly has some positive and negative outcomes attached to it. For example, you might get less cheaters as many people in the community will happily volunteer and review footage flagging those cheaters. However, the negatives might be that good players get reported more often and we would still obviously need someone at EA to remove the account from the game and double check everything. This is still a long process. For the point of this video though, I think we can go at reviewing some footage of cheaters in Battlefield games and come to some swift conclusions. We've seen this before and I'm kind of being a bit of a hypocrite here because I recently, a few weeks ago, criticized the Battlefield 4 database website amongst other things for the way that a player was treated. Now, they do more good than bad. In fact, it's a very small amount of negative really attached to that, and it was one of many things in a list that I complained about in that video. But I think we have to find the positives with reviewing cheaters and taking action when clearly it should be EA that is doing this, and these plugins should never have to exist in the first place. Some of the footage you will see in the background has been sent to my email over the past 12 months. Some of the emails have messages attached, so I'll quickly read through those as we review the clips, and then we can work out whether those players are cheating or not. A bit of a spoiler, most of them, if not all of them, are. And you'll be surprised what people get away with in Battlefield games, not just BF5, there's some BF4 footage in there as well, and these players just don't get banned. So taking a look at some of the cheaters, here we have a clip from Ofer Musai. The cheater is called Shaka is Coming and uses a speed hack amongst other things. You can clearly see in these three clips, they're only very short, that there is an enemy player speeding around the map and they're trying to take him out. It's fairly weird, to be honest, that this sort of thing can go undetected. As you see him flying past there, this is the most obvious clip of him cheating. It's not just limited to Battlefield 5, this I've seen it in all sorts of games. I've seen it in Call of Duty, I've seen it in PUBG, speed hacks, and it's just very, very frustrating to try and deal with. Again, something that should be able to get flagged up by software and maybe the in-game anti-cheat system, but this could also be a way of flagging it. Now we have a clip from Fanquin. He claims the player here is using a damage modifier. Now this is an example of where a review system wouldn't work because there's clearly not enough evidence here, in my opinion, to condemn a player for cheating. The spectator mode is buggy and this, whilst he could be cheating, doesn't really condemn him fully, in my opinion. You need to have a little bit more evidence. In fact, I wouldn't say he's cheating at all just from that clip, but you'd need more evidence on that one. Here we have a clip from Kabuki Joe. Is he cheating or not? Let's have a look. The player is called Minigma1. And from that first spray down, I'd say yes, he's definitely cheating. This is, of course, Battlefield 4. We're looking at Operation Locker. And the spectator cam is very buggy on BF4. It's kind of behind what you're seeing. It's just not quite really there. So if you watch a good player on spectator cam, they can look like they're cheating. But there's a few things that really give this away. The way he's playing, he's pre-aiming things and firing. Just you wouldn't do that in a game. Even the best players wouldn't be able to predict this sort of stuff. Spraying through the smoke, maybe you could get away with that. But then so many kills just from a quick spray through the smoke here. It's quite obvious he's cheating. Here you see a really good example of cheating as he snaps to that player. And then you'll see it again through here as he just starts snapping to players in the distance. That there is cheating 100% and this would be reviewed it could be sent to somebody at ea straight away and they could ban this account or at least get to the bottom of it there's another example of just pure cheating on battlefield here we have a clip from mars kl the cheater is called last when zero one he's been cheating for a long time apparently not been banned might be banned at this point but was doing it for a long long time 
playing on one of the jungle maps. I forget the name of this, Solomon Islands, I think it's called. There we go, two very nice bursts with the MB28 headshots. Could be a thing, that looked dodgy to me. Might not be cheating at this point, we need a bit more, I think, before we could condemn this player, although he is, you know, very, very shifty at this point. Here we see some bursts into the distance, another headshot. Very difficult to make that shot work, but again, could be a thing, and there we go. Snaps to a player, 100% cheating, he would be banned. Here we have some clips from Battlefield 5 sent in from Uber. An email message that I'll read to you now. However, this one was from before the rental servers came out, so that will make a bit more sense when I read through this. They say the following. I found eight hackers on one server 40 minutes after I started recording. Wherever you are, most servers in Asia have hackers. Sometimes there are three hackers on each team, and one of them is often used by three hackers in a squad. Korean users have constantly tried to report the cheaters, but the ban system does not seem to work. Right now, I'm just really waiting for a new anti-cheat and rental server program, just for the admin kick. Hacker issues are really important in Asia, but I'm angry that this hasn't been handled properly. Now we can take from that again a few things. Asia seems to be the location where most of the cheaters are. However, my experience, there's plenty around in Europe as well. I think as well that we're seeing the rental server program as a quick fix for this sort of thing. But since this email was sent to me, that was brought out and clearly wasn't fit for purpose. So it didn't really change a whole lot. Maybe if you're looking to have a private event, it would fix it. But if you're trying to fill a server, it's very difficult to do so on BF5 with the lack of features on these community servers. As we're seeing in this one, lots of cheaters in the same server backs up exactly what he's saying. An absolute disaster here. And all these players would be banned. Here we have some clips from Asif Kaka. Loads of cheaters in the same game. We're looking at Operation Underground. This is your typical cheater playing with the Lewis gun, looking for loads of kills. That is a straight giveaway. See how he's shooting at the wall because he's tracking a player because of the aimbot. There's the player that he would have killed if he could shoot through the wall. There's somebody getting shot through the wall with a headshot. 100% cheating would be banned in an instant if there was somebody reviewing this footage. And again, same server, we've got another guy here, Alan or Alien, whatever he's called, cheating 100%. Look at this, tracking players through the wall, trying to kill them. So he'd be another player who was getting banned. Skipping forward in the clip that was sent, Shucks once again, cheating to his heart's content. How is the game not picking this up as cheating? There clearly is no anti-cheat in BF5, or if there is, it's just very primitive stuff. That is absolutely insane how we can get away with that. And a couple more cheaters in the game. We've got this guy, Crying Pulse, I don't know. But yeah, he's cheating as well. Really depressing seeing this sort of stuff in a game like Battlefield. It just completely ruins the game. It doesn't matter how much effort a developer puts into the map design or the little nuances in a game like Battlefield. A cheater comes in and can just ruin everything. And there's nothing you can do about it. A message from Travis living in South Korea. You probably know him as Travis Got Power on YouTube. He says, in Battlefield 5, the cheating issue has been steadily rising since launch. Although many users have pointed out about the cheating, the problem is very serious, especially in Asian servers. He cannot play, neither can a lot of other players, and they're suffering unimaginably from this problem. This is because ordinary users cannot play Battlefield 5 in the normal way. More than 80-90% to 90 of servers have been occupied by cheaters, and they're literally devastating the Asian servers. Since most Asian users have a language barrier, there are very limited ways to raise the issue. Each person raises and complains in his own language, but in fact, it's hard to get across to Western users and developers. Now that message points out a few things that we're probably not too familiar with. When somebody cheats in a game, especially if you're from the UK or the USA or an English speaking country, you know, where you speak multiple languages, English is a second language, you can raise this with EA support or EA help or whatever way they wish you to report the cheater, go through, maybe even chat to a community manager on Twitter or social media and hopefully have the problem sorted. If you're in an Asian community, I guess you have to go through their local representatives and it could be very difficult. There are a lot of languages over in that part of the world and considering how many people play video games, you would think that there would be a slightly easier way to raise these issues. And then finally today, we've got some clips from that guy, Boothan. 
first of all, we're going to be looking at Battlefield 1 and an invisible hacker. In BF1 or in most spectator modes, you can view a player in third person. And here we see that very camera and it just shows the weapon. So the soldier is invisible. I've seen this before on Battlefield. There are some glitches that allow you to do it in Battlefield 4, I believe. Not that I'd suggest doing that because, again, it's against the TOS, but more difficult to do and you don't see very many people abusing that glitch in fact i don't think i've ever seen anyone doing it really maybe one or two if i was to really think back but very uncommon this guy's using it he's also one-shotting people in the head with fedorov so yes he is cheating there's no doubt about that another clip that was sent in from that guy Boothan. we're looking at bf5 we're looking at twisted steel and a bunch of cheaters i think three at least on the same team in the same game. You can usually pick out a cheater in the scoreboard because they have a really unusual score, but that's not always fair. I have friends who are so good at Battlefield 5, they will often outscore a bad cheater, which sometimes isn't that difficult to do because as you'll see, some of these cheaters are awful, but it kind of means that you're gonna have players that are going to be put in the same category as cheaters, which isn't fair. That's why you need the footage reviewed, the accounts checked and you know a system that really picks up whether these players are cheating or not. This guy, not sure if he's cheating as we've seen a couple of snipes. There was a bit of a sketchy moment, could be spectator mode. I think he probably is judging by the score. And then we have obviously some really clear cheating going on there. This guy can't even use his aimbot properly. He's just cheating massively with that stupid Lewis gun that you always see the cheaters using. Now skipping to some Battlefield 1, we have a guy here who is cheating obviously using that invisibility hack again but he's being a really good player he's reviving his teammates how often have you seen that a player reviving who's also cheating usually cheaters are terrible players who just drop into the game and you know abuse the game they cheat and they probably do it in all sorts of games this guy clearly is a bf1 player who's decided to cheat for a little while uh, using the invisibility hack as well he's not that good as he just gets destroyed but he's reviving so as far as cheaters go, he's actually quite a good team player. Reviving again, this is where you see the cheats. He switched to his revolver, the instant headshot. Now he's tracking a player through the wall. You see him snap to him here and shoot him in the wall. They're going to be up the stairs on the left. There we go. Bang, bang. There we go. He's a cheater, 100%. And then finally, we have this guy, the most unusual clip today, Clove. He keeps jumping off the bridge on Twisted Steel, but he doesn't take a death on the scoreboard very unusual stuff but yes again something dodgy going on with this guy his clan name is hack he's doing something he shouldn't be probably cheating more footage needed he's not really killing many players but definitely using something that is preventing him from dying and glitching out the game so a short video looking at some Pretty obvious cheaters for the most part in Battlefield games, both from BF4, BF1 and BF5. What do you think of the idea of having this Overwatch system? I doubt we'll ever see it, but it could be an interesting thing to discuss. Maybe it is a way of including the community in this fight against cheaters. I think the real way to fix this is to go down the route Activision have done, bringing big lawsuits towards these companies that are distributing the cheats and also implementing a proper working anti-cheat that will pick these cheaters up let me know what you think in the comments thanks to everyone who sent in this footage and i really hope that battlefield becomes a game that you can play more freely in the future thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video